What's up guys, it's the Hot and Fuzzy again. Uh, I've gotten some requests to do a chapter two video on my Cobra FS380. I made the last video probably two years ago when I first got the pistol. Uh, my dad got it for me. I was of course not old enough to buy a handgun at the time, but uh, I've shot about 300 rounds through it since then. I don't shoot it a whole lot because you know the ammo is a little bit more expensive, but I have uh, the question we're going to ask answer here today is after this amount of use and uh, having it this long, is it worth it? They're really the least expensive handgun on the market. You can get this thing for $120 at a local gun shop, and a lot of people are curious about them because they're so cheap. You could buy three of these for the price of a new Glock. So, are they really worth it? Are they as reliable as? say a Glock or a Ruger uh, or any other uh, popular handgun. So a few features about the gun has an alloy frame, seven shot capacity. Uh, the one interesting thing about it is on the last round the slide does not lock back. There's no way to lock the slide back. But that might be a turnoff for a few people. It has a safety right here, push button safety. And the magazine release is down here, which might be a little bit awkward, you know. But is it really worth it? For home defense, for practical application, for carry, it is a little bit heavier than your uh, standard gun of this size. It's actually quite a bit heavier. It's probably about a third or twice, as, or a, it's probably a third heavier than a Glock 42 or a Glock 43. So a gun in this size, I mean, it is pretty heavy. but. I'm going to take a few shots with it. We're shooting some uh, tall ammo out of this, full metal jacket, and we're going to take a few shots with it. Get that water jug. All right, that's five shots. No malfunctions, didn't load in seven. I just wanted to load in five that time, but seemed to function just fine. And the accuracy isn't bad for such a small handgun. I mean, the, it has fixed blade front sights on it, but uh, the truth is I, it's, it works, you know. Um, the grips uh, are crap, honestly, but uh, it gets the job done. I mean, it's not a Nighthawk or anything like that or a crazy expensive handgun. But, it'll work. So I'm going to hand this over, let my buddy uh, take a few shots with it, see what he thinks about it. Oh, shit. No function? That last round didn't want to cycle. Oh, it didn't? No. <clears throat> well, we are using cheap ammo. Yeah, you got a point. Huh. Try it again. There we go. There you go. Looks like you had a failure to feed there. Yeah, just didn't want to cycle for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, give it a shot with maybe some more modern ammo. Yeah. All right. So it looks like uh, Colton there had one malfunction with the uh, tall ammo. But, you know, it's still cased and everything. It's not the best, really. I have actually, out of this gun... It really does very well with uh, with brass case ammo. We're going to use some SIG ammo here. Um, I've had a few issues out of the tall ammo, but that might just be an ammunition issue. We're going to shoot five more rounds of the SIG ammo that is uh, brass cased. So let's give this a try. Shoot at my silhouette here. Well, that's the group we got at about 15, 20 feet. Not too bad for uh, what it is. In conclusion, is the FS380 Cobra worth it? Well, um, from what I can tell, um, if you use high quality ammunition or decent quality ammunition, it'll function just fine. I haven't had really any issues with brass cased ammo. That steel cased ammo, you know, wolf, tall ammo, you might have a few issues out of it just because of its, you know, lower quality ammunition. But 
uh, so far, I mean, it does decent groups. You know, of course, not the most accurate thing in the world. It has fixed front sights, front and real, rear sights. You know, it's just right into the frame of the gun. But, you know, uh, if you're on a budget, I would recommend it. You know, it's not bad. I think I feel that it will uh, do what you need it to do. Um, I certainly think it's a good firearm. They come with a lifetime warranty. So, uh, if you are interested, you can, uh, most gun stores have these. Uh, Bud's Gun Shop, I know, has these, carries these. Um, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. And, uh, again, thank you guys for watching the video. Keep those subs coming, and I'll talk to you guys soon.